Okay, Doc, just thought I'd demonstrate uh, using a uh, MIDI cartridge that I used to use back on the Commodore 64. Uh, that's the model I used to have. And I'll run it with the, um, I used the C64 for Mega 65 core number two. Right there. All right, should boot up. And we're in. Okay, so I press the help key down here. And I'll go to the top and go mount drive 8. Oops, I had the tool I used to use back in the past, uh, Advanced Music System. I'll grab that one. It's mounted. Uh, get rid of that. I'll load it up. I think I have to do it the good old fashioned way. Okay. For it to load up, this might take a while. It's nice and slow. Oh, okay, run. Oh, it's got the crack throw at the front. I'll skip that. <laughs> okay, press an A key. All right, I'll load up the uh. I'm still getting familiar with the uh, UI keystrokes. It's a little odd. Um, I'll have to roll back so you can see the keystrokes. It might be a bit awkward. I haven't mounted the, the phone camera. Do it this way. Anyway, I'll pause while it loads. Okay, here we are at the main menu. And totally in between the various menu options, you have to press the space bar. And whichever one you like, you... Um, like uh, you choose with the return key so if you wanted to do um, music editing or sequencing that's the one you press return on can't remember the rest yet but this one was the one for MIDI so I press return on that one it will take uh, I don't know, 15 seconds or so to load maybe I'll pause it okay we're in so the top menu system stuff is uh, all the function keys so F1 for that one F3 for that one F5, F7, so I'd go F1 to go up and down the menu, use the space bar, or you can use shift and space, and to pick a menu option, let's say load, you press return, and load a list of songs to play, I'll try this one, space, space, and then return, load file, continue, yes, please assign, I think there's like six uh, MIDI tracks and I think that's where you, which one you want to sign it to. So I'll uh, press return to go from the first MIDI track. And it loads them up in the first three MIDI tracks. And there. Okay, they're loaded in. And play was the run stop key. So maybe I'll hit the run stop key and we'll see what happens. Run stop. Oh, wait, 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 no, there's another problem. It won't play straight away for my cartridge because it was, seems like there were two styles of MIDI cartridges. So I'll press, I think it's F2, is it? And I'll go to this interface option. So space, 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 space. And here you can toggle between various interfaces with the Q and the uh, W keys. So Q goes to password, W goes to seal. So it looks like my cartridge is passport. I think it's UK versus US from the manual what I read. Um, so yeah, I'll press return on that, passport. And now I'll press uh, run stop. Oh, it crashed oh, after all of that. <laughs> okay, I'm back to where I was. And yeah, my mistake I believe was on the MIDI cartridge. I was um, fiddling with the MIDI in, it was connected before. I had to go to MIDI out. I was just testing MIDI in earlier, and that's never worked for me on the, even on the 64 days with this cartridge for whatever reason. So that's okay. So I don't blame the call for that. Um, but yeah, I'll try MIDI out. I've connected MIDI out. That's going to the keyboard over here, and we'll see how it goes. I'll press the run stop key, and fingers crossed this time it'll work. Run stop key. Oh. Yee <laughs> Thank you.
répondu non. Nice. So there you go. That's it. Advanced Music System and my MIDI cartridge working on the Mega 65.